Bonjour. Um, if I'm right, this is lesson 16 and lesson 17. Remember, this is also a double lesson now. So um, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of things to take in. And remember, because you only have one lesson a week and we don't see you every day, it's your responsibility to practice and practice and practice. So, s'il vous plaît, ouvrez les livres, open your books à la page 20. Remember that um, we, uh, we had an exercise. I'll do that at the end because I want you to see something else first. Uh, on, on, um, we can co corriger l'exercice, but just start at page 20. Page 20 starts with C'est à qui? It's whose? It's to whom? So that's a difficult expression. Just try to understand it. You don't have to use it. If I want to say Whose is the pencil? I will say, le big setaki. Okay? But actually on this page, we're going to learn to say me and my and your thing. So, position. Okay, so, we did it. So, that is revision now. So, first look at the dossier long. How to say my and your. There are three different words for my, mo, and ma, and me. Remember, mo, if it comes before a masculine word, Ma, before a feminine word, and me. So that's wonderful about French. They, everything sort of um, is in harmony with the next thing. So when one thing's feminine, all the other things are feminine. So then all the more ma, me must also be masculine or feminine. So, and the three words for your, so that's new. So your work the same. So your masculine will be ton before a masculine word. Your before a feminine word will be ta. And yours before a plural word will be T. Um, now they say you must work out, but we've already do that. So here are the clues that they give you. Tu habites, look at the bubble. Tu habites avec tes parents, ton frère et ta soeur. Do you live with your parents, plural, tes parents, your sister, ton frère, and your brother, um, ta soeur, ton fem masculine, ta feminine. And then she answers, oui, c'est ça, j'habite avec mes parents, mon frère Alain et ma soeur Alice. J'habite avec mes parents, plural, mon frère masculine, ma soeur Alice. And then it's the rule. Masculine, feminine, plural, mon, ma, me. And ton, ta, now, the correct word for my or your matches the word which follow it. If the singular word begins with a vowel, you always use mon. If it's feminine, it doesn't matter. If your friend, a friend is an ami, and if your friend will maybe be a, a, a feminine ami, I can't say ma ami and ta ami, because then the one a will fall away and it will be tami and mami. So then they still use the masculine form. So here's the, the here they have the, the um, examples. They say if the singular word begins with a vowel, a, e, i, o, o, u, use mon for my and ton for your. Otherwise you can't pronounce it. So it will be un ami will be mon ami and ton ami. But un ami will also be mon ami and ton ami. If you may be um, see and you, you don't know why it is so that is um the the rules so, well? so now let's read about la famille corpuscule la famille corpuscule that's the name and we have to complete it now with more ma and me so read with me je suis i am you can also you could also have said je m'appelle je suis désastre corpuscule and here's my family voici ma Famille. How I am I now going to say my sister's name is Anferina? Ma soeur s'appelle Anferina. Here's my cat. His name is Drac and cat is masculine. So it will be Voici mon chat. Il s'appelle Drac. My parents. Voici plural mes parents. My father's name is Tombo. Mon père. 
and here is my ordinateur. Now, it doesn't matter if ordinateur, it is masculine, but if it's feminine or masculine, you must use before a vowel, you must use mon. So, voici mon ordinateur. My mother's name is Draculine. Ma mère s'appelle Draculine. And here's my mouse, and that's feminine. Ma souris. Elle s'appelle Fantôme. It's a very strange family. I live with my parents and my sister in the Chateau Corpuscule. So it will be, j'habite avec mes parents et ma soeur dans le Chateau Corpuscule. J'habite avec mes parents et ma soeur dans le Chateau Corpuscule. Ça va? Now, if you look uh, numéro 2, tu as tes affaires. Do you have your things? If you're on your way to school or something and your mother asks you, you have that, do you have your debt and you have your, your trousse and you have your pen and you have your jacket and everything. Try to see it now. Now, if you see in your book, if you look in your book, you'll see the masculine ones uh, uh, are uh, in uh, mine is in blue, purple, and the feminine ones is in red. So now they, they tell you to help uh, at the strategy. They say to help you learn the gender of nouns. Remember to use colors. You could write, uh, write or highlight masculine words. My book is double. It's very strange printed. It's I can't read. Uh, highlight masculine nouns in blue and feminine nouns in red. Now this blue looks like purple in my book, but it's fine. It's blue. Bon. Now you must say, do you have your? And then you have, do you have your trousse? Do you have your ragli? Do you have your um, box? Do you have your crayons? Okay, so I'll give you a few moments. Uh, see if you can fill it in. Then you answer. Do you have your truce? Yes, yes, my truce. Do you have your un regle? Yes, yes, my regle. Ça va? Voilà. If you're not done, just pause and then you can go on and then you can hear the answers. Tu as ta. Trousse? Oui. Voici ma trousse. Do you have your trousse? Yes, here is my trousse. Tu as ta règle? Oui. Voici ma règle. Tu as plural? Tes cahiers? Oui. Voici mes cahiers. Tu as tes crayons? Oui. Voici mes crayons. Tu as, now with a vowel, always the mot or the ton. Tu as ton ipod. Oui, voici mon ipod. Tu as ton stylo. Oui, voici mon stylo. Tu as ta gomme. Oui, voici ma gomme. Et tu as ton sac. Do you have your bag? Tu as ton sac. Oh, no, zit, où est mon sac? I've got everything, but I don't have my bag. Zit is, it's not a bad word. It's like, oh, dear. Oh, no, zit, où est mon sac? Okay. If you didn't get it right, go to the rules again and do it again, and then you'll see, you'll understand. And then, à la page 21. 21. At my place, chez moi. Here's a... Uh, bond dessiné. The, the French call it a bond. It's a strip. And dessiné is drawn on. So it's a bed. It's a bond dessiné about Danny. Let's read it. It's also the days of the week. Okay? And then see. It's very interesting. So try to understand. Voici lundi. Okay. Voici une carte postale de mon frère Louis. Il est à Nice. 
There's a postcard of my brother Louis, and he is in Nice, the south of France. Do you remember? Now, voici le baladeur de mon frère. C'est super, hein? Yes, my brother's MP3 or um, iPod. Yes, my brother's iPod. It's super, huh? So remember, you can't say my brother's. You must say le baladeur de mon frère. Mercredi, now he's got something else of his brother. C'est le vélo de mon frère. Oh, j'aime le vélo. So now I've got my brother's bike. I like it. Je dis. Très intéressante, c'est le livre de mon frère. So what is he doing now? He's reading his brother's book. Vendredi. Oh, et mon cartable. Ah, je prends le sac à dos de mon frère. I can't find my backpack, so now I take my brothers. Je vais à la discothèque and see who he takes with him. Voici la copine de mon frère. A copine is a friend. A ami and a copine or a copain is the masculine form. So he takes his, his brother's girlfriend or friend. And then he has a problem. Ah! Voici mon frère, there's my brother coming back, and now he's going to see everything that I have of him. Ça va? I'll read it again. Read with me now. Lis avec moi. Voici une carte postale de mon frère, lui. Il est à Nice. Voici le baladeur de mon frère. C'est super, hein? Voici le vélo de mon frère. J'aime le vélo. Très intéressant, c'est le livre de mon frère. Et mon cartable. Ah, je prends le sac à dos de mon frère. Je vais à la discothèque. Voici la copine de mon frère. Hey, voici mon frère. Now I can't take this thing anymore. Ça va? And now we have a little comprehension. Uh, Danny et son frère. Danny and his brother. Okay? Now they ask. C'est le baladeur de Danny of c'est le baladeur de son frère. So which one is it? C'est B. Is it his or his brother's? Numéro 2, c'est le sac à dos de Danny ou c'est le sac à dos de son frère? Is it his backpack or his brother's? C'est, a look there at the picture, c'est le sac à dos de son frère. It's his brother's backpack. C'est le livre de Danny ou c'est le livre de lui? It's Louis' book, but I can't say it like that. I must say, c'est le livre de lui. C'est le vélo de lui. C'est le vélo de Danny. C'est le vélo de lui. C'est le vélo de Danny. It's le vélo de Danny. C'est le t-shirt de Danny. C'est le t-shirt de son frère. C'est le t-shirt de Danny. C'est le t-shirt de c'est le t-shirt de son frère. It is brothers. I think so. Did I talk about that? Oh, maybe it's his own. No, it's a t-shirt of Danny. He's got it on. He doesn't say anything about it. Okay, and then, c'est la copine de Danny or c'est la copine de son frère? Oh, no, c'est la copine de son frère. Now, if you look at the dossier long, most things in this cartoon belong to Danny's brother. Which three words does Danny use to say my brothers? He says, de is a key word when saying who something belongs to in French. So you say, c'est le livre de désastre. C'est le dragon d'enferina. Um, so the de just changed to de apostrophe because the word starts with a vowel. So you can either say son frère or you can say c'est le frère de Danny. There's no comma s apostrophe s um, in French. But you must change it around in your head. So, if you say my brother's cat, you must say, c'est le chat de mon frère. C'est le chat de mon frère. So, please, there's no homework now. I hope I see you when you have come to the end of this lesson. Um, and then um, we'll do our next verb. So, remember to, to go over G, T, A, I, A, then mon mame and ton tate. And all the other things. So just go through your things again. And then I hope that this temps de confinement will have an end now. 
and that because I have work now, worked for, for you now for 17 weeks, and I hope after that I'll see you. Voila, stay safe, be good, bonne journée, au revoir.